when you look at Jones, uh, just what kind of a challenge does he present, and, and how did he look for a guy making his first start last week? Uh, well, one, he's a smart quarterback, so <clears throat> being, on, being on our coverage um, and, you know, knowing the, the offensive mindset that the Patriots have, obviously with Bill Belichick and everyone in the surrounding cast, they do a great job of um, game planning and scheming things. So uh, we have to be ready for any kind of tricks on um, the first 15. And once we kind of settle down and kind of see what the team is doing, I think we'll really be able to get a, the home man on, you know, what, what they're trying to look to, to expose out our defense. So um, it's hard to say right now. Obviously, he's been in the preseason, had the first game. But um, it's going to be a lot of, a lot of um, got, I guess, raw footage for him um, coming, coming um, into this game. <clears throat> Excuse me. And for us, you know, show different looks, you know, kind of like how we tried to do last week, show different looks, mix up our coverage and try to um, get him to, you know, see some things that aren't there. We've obviously added some talent at tight end, and you guys have all the injuries at linebacker and, and at safety. Just how much of a challenge do you think that's going to be, and do you kind of expect mm -hmm. them to – to use the tight ends maybe a little bit more than they did last week? Yeah, um, well, like I said, la la well, after the game last last week, you know, the, um, the Andrew's going to come, you know, with the season. And, you know, every week is going to present a new challenge. So, you know, whether we, we are fully healthy or whether we have a few guys, um, you know, they're going to have their plays. They're going to have their players that they, that they look for. And, you know, we have to do, you know, our job, you know, as a collective group, no matter who's in, to, you know, to home in on, you know, what we're trying to do as a defense collectively. Now, that being said, um, even though we are down a few guys, uh, we're all very confident in, in the next guy that, that comes in. So uh, as long as we, you know, do our job and communicate well, we, we should be able to handle most of, the, most of their adjustments. Since you last we saw you healthy at MetLife Stadium, you were the best player on the field that day. What's it going to mean to you to be back on your home field on mm -hmm. Sunday? Uh, I'm just excited, you know, uh, obviously excited to play last week, just to enjoy to play football, but, you know, to be back in front of the home crowd, you know, have all the fans rocking, and uh, we're going to be in all white, so that's going to be real pretty. So I'm uh, very, very excited, very excited to hear the chant as well. Um, so it was actually, actually pretty funny. Uh, I didn't think about this till maybe a few days ago. You know, my, the first play um, – uh, yeah, the first play was a uh, last well in 19. You know, I had the interception. I got my hand on the ball. And the first play last week, you know, I tipped the pass. So it's been nice to start off the same way. But um, it was it was just fun. You know, it was fun to fly around. It was fun to have that experience. You know, just talking to talking to my teammates on the sideline, making adjustments. You know, having a small conversation with the refs. You know, talking to the players on the other side. So when you when you get back in, you don't really think about you know the little things that happen in the game within the game. So it was, it was just fun to just be back around just around all the action, and especially when it's away. You know, you just get a chance to experience the the away crowd. And you can you just felt you felt the whole time like they they was in the game and it was it was just fun to be a part of. So obviously we didn't come out with the win, that'd have been a lot better. But um, one thing about football, you always have the next opportunity. And obviously this is a division of game as well. So we were looking we were looking very forward and very excited to be playing in this game. Did, how did you feel you played? How did you... Um, I felt like I played pretty well. Um, you know, I missed I missed a couple of tackles, you know, kinda of out in the out in the open. Um, so just got to do better, and that would bring my feet to the ball. Um, but as far as just you know, running and making plays and making calls, you know, everything felt back to normal. So no, no issues there. Do you feel any rust? No, nah, no rust at all. What do you think of the play of your? Do you have some young guys on this team? What do you think of the play for you? Like you said, talking to players, <coughs> that excitement. Mm. What was that for you? Um, so the main thing is just building that chemistry. Um, so you know, when we make adjustments on the sideline. When we're talking in between plays, when we when we talk about coverages, when we talk about you know what we're seeing from the offense, you know that that comes that's going to come with time and experience when it, when it comes to the younger guys, and even with you know with older players that are that are new to the system. So we're all new to the system. So when we're on the sideline adjusting with the coaches, you know it's kind of everybody seeing how we work together, seeing how we communicate with each other. You know some guys can come on the sideline, make the adjustment in three seconds, or just talk and kind of be okay. Some other guys you might have to you know talk to a little bit longer, or draw the play out, look at the play so that that just comes with with time and um and experience from you know from the defense and from the coach's perspective so i feel like i feel like this week has been um really great everybody's been you know focused on on their job you know focus on um what this game really means and uh, as far as the, the leadership goes and as far as being a captain I, I really wanted to make sure that you know the defense and everybody knows not just me but you know everybody that uh, what this game what this game means besides it being the page you know this is a division game you know this counts for two so we just have to make sure, you know, we come in this game poised, come in this game, execute that game plan. If you run to the ball and make plays, uh, we should come out uh, victorious. You like being that guy? Love it.
Yeah. Back to Jones. What's the uh, what's the mindset going in against a rookie quarterback? There's not a ton of tape on him, but mm-hmm. you know you might have some areas where you can exploit against against a guy like that. Um, our main focus is doing our job. Um, we know we know who he has, um, who he's talking to in the headset, and who he, who he's been who's been coached by. So um, it, it doesn't matter that he's a rookie. It doesn't matter if he's you know four or five, eight years in. Um, they're gonna do they're gonna do their job. And they're gonna execute it well. So our job is to out execute them and you know be great on situation of football and, uh, and third down. So I feel if we do that, we'll ha- we'll have a chance to win this game. What was your favorite part of Um, I'll, I'll just go back and just to being in, in the action. Um, like I said, the game inside the game, you know, making adjustments on the sidelines, you know, having a little chats with the refs, uh, a little back and forth with the player. So uh, just just running around, you know, just when you get when you get in the in a football field, it's just like you just have freedom. You know, you can do you can let your personality shine. Um, you can talk more. You can do everything that you want to do um, that you can't do outside of outside of football. When you get on the field, man, it's it's just all yours. You know, when you put in the preparation, you put in the work. Um, you just you just have that time to let you know let your talent shine. So that's that's what I love most about it. How much do you miss it? Uh, I miss it a lot. So I try to do my best to let my let my play do the talking. But um, like I mean, like I keep saying, I'm just excited. You know, like I said, it's the opportunity every time you step on the field. So you always want to put your best foot forward. How emotional do you think it will feel for you to hear that Jets chant for the first time inside MetLife? And- yeah, I would assume if not every, if not me, everybody's gonna have chills hearing that because I, I just know it's gonna be rocking. Um, especially having all the fans back. Um, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be in all white. We you know we got the vision upon it. We got the Patriots, so we got all the we got all the check marks to make the Jets chant get louder and louder. So hopefully we'll be hearing it loud and clear at the end of the game as well. So that's the plan. Why do you like the all white uniform so much? It's just pretty. It's all white is a pretty thing. Uh, all black too, but you no, know, we're gonna be in the daytime, so it's gonna be it's gonna look nice get, with the sun. So we have a little a couple degrees shaved off of us um, in all white. <laughs>